Hello, everyone. Welcome back to where the fun begins. Nice and slow. Yeah, nice and slow. Sorry, I was getting the timer ready. As you probably already noticed, we have a different background. Ooh, wee. Oh, uh, yeah. I had the N64 hooked up, and Mason came over, and he was amazed by it. He's never seen Completely one. Completely shocked. One. So I uh, thought we'd just turn it on. Uh, currently, it has Rush 2 in it. Rush to where? Oh, my God. Uh. No, it's Rush 2. Where? So I uh, figured we'd have an animated background today. Looks a little bit different. It's fancy. Yeah. I like it. All the fancy. pixels. Um, All 16. Yeah. I had to teach Mason how to hold the controller. I'm not. How, okay, show, how do you think you hold it? How do you See, think you hold it? Naturally, I want to do it like this. Right. Which feels kind of weird. Show how wrong you are to the okay. camera. Okay, like that, like a normal okay. God-fearing person, but apparently you need to hold it like this. Where your index finger's bumping up against the memory card slot. If you push, it just drops out. Is that a thing that happened? No. That never happened. Okay. I actually think that was for a Rumble Pack. Rumble Packs. I remember those. You can get a Game Boy attachment for a Rumble Pack. Yeah. And like I was telling you, I think the reason they did that... There's three directional pads on that thing. It was the first controller with a joystick. Yeah, they didn't really know they what... They didn't know if it was going to work, so they put this over here with this button, and you know, you did this controller. But if you wanted the joystick, you now had this the button is, in the back to replace this one. This is also not... This is a Mad Cat design it's so pretty it's much bigger. it's identical no <laughs> it's kind of identical it's completely it's, identical. the other one looks a little bit slimmer i got one in the back room but this one was brand new whenever do you I remember it, pelican so. the game yeah they were all pretty pelican. terrible yeah we had that the only good thing is they had this turbo button oh my god i love the turbo you, you could hold it down and hit the turbo button and uh, it always helped for the games where you had to click something really fast you could just do that and hit the turbo button and it would just <laughs> and then you would win Every Always time. thought that you needed to be inbred to hold it with three hands. What? You know. What? For maximum control. But yes, N64 completely changed the, the console games as we know them today because it's of the joystick. True. Yeah. I'm just saying, you got a directional pad here, you got your joystick, and you got these buttons that just have arrows on them. You got three directional pads. Where are you going where you need three directional pads? Well, Everywhere. Those were just really, like, more buttons. That's all they were. GoldenEye, dude, they, they like, if you... If you've ever played like any first-person shooter games with the first joysticks, oh my god, it was horrible. Oh yeah, it was bad. It was horrible. Didn't they auto center? Didn't they always go back to auto yeah. center? That was that was garbage. You had to. I remember because uh, you'd be walking and it would always be in the middle. To do it to aim, you would have to hold the, this button right here down, and then and then it would allow your thing to move. Oh. Yeah. And you would shoot, and after you let go of the Z button, it would go right back to the middle. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the Z button. It, it was crazy oh, back man, in the day, the though. Z button. Man. Okay, so I see an A and a B. Why switch, you know, the 20-something letters to go straight to Z? Well, no, because we have A, B. It's at the end. Yeah, it's at the end. They, need, they, need, they weren't going to just go straight for C. They already have a C button, That's actually. expected. The C button is one of the yellow buttons. Oh, no, it's left, right, up, and down. It was always like there was C up, C down, C, C up, C down, C right. Yeah, yeah. No shit, no shit. So they Could just you not? they just said, "All right, Nintendo designers, we have a box full of parts. Go crazy!" And just they it was out. the first one of those Lego Ubuntu or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah, Ubuntu, Ubuntu or whatever. That's oh Linux. God. No, that's Linux. Yeah. What am I? I'm thinking of the the Nintendo doing their little backpack thing, whatever the fuck. It oh, was. Uh, their Lego. Cabo, we, are, we already forgot all about it. Cabo it Webo. Such a yeah. dumb idea. I don't know. It was a really dumb idea. Hey, uh, they probably said this was dumb back in the day too. But if you never played Goldeneye 007, Goldeneye, you, you yeah. missed out. You missed out. It set the standard for. Cheers. First person. We cheaters, were playing too. Doom. Back and there was the always day. there was a. Uh, you could always play against each other, right? Yeah. And there was always this character named Odd Job. And he had the hat. And he was short, so half had, the size of the other so ones. So you had to. So you weren't do ready it for it. Aim. You couldn't just turn and shoot. You had to aim down and shoot. And mm. it, it was pretty common at your land parties to. Uh, yep. Not pick him because you're a douche if you pick him. Yeah. I didn't know that. Except for every now and then, you'd get a whole. Everyone would just be Odd Job. 
And then you, all, all you that can was use a is your hat. That was a cluster to kill people. You didn't get a gun, you just got a hat? <laughs> you get the golden gun. You could always just choose just to use your hat, because it was an instant kill. Oh. Yeah. The golden gun was an instant kill, too, though. Yeah. Anyways. Hmm. Now you know something. Man, so much. So much. That and Halo, dude. That was life. Halo was pretty good. Halo Combat Evolved, the first one. And then took him out, and it was better. Two came out, and it was better. And three came out, and it was still it was, better. Mm, it was... It wavered. Three was better. <sighs> three was better because of the custom... Like, the customization you could do. Yeah, Forge. that made it. Do you remember Boink Swatter? Boink Swatter! Oh, my God! No. I never played that. But it had, like, no gravity, all the speed, and one hit to kill. Yeah, with the sledgehammer, with the gravity hammer. No, this was with pistols. No, I played Boink Swatter. We've all played Boink Swatter. I made Boink Swatter. Yeah, we played it. When did you play it? I played it with y'all! Maybe so. I think so, actually. I think it I actually was... Map. called Mousetrap once. We used to play... That was the standard for arguing and dispute setting because uh, I don't think Modern Warfare 2's Rust was out. Please silence your cell phone. He knows we do this every day at this time. Hello? Hey, what's going on, fam? We're just doing the podcast. What you what you doing, fam? Oh, my, bad, my bad. I was wondering why you didn't text me back. All I, right, I'll I, call you later. I did text you back. No, you didn't. Okay. <laughs> All right. Peace. 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 Yeah, yeah, it was. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I think, what a word. Yeah, no, I did. I did text him back. You can you can see right there. I did. I did what's up, foo? He said biz, and I said what's up, foo? And he never texted. All right, what do you want to talk about back. today, Scott? Yeah. Well, the first thing on the list that I had was that uh, in the coming in this coming week, which would have been the last week this week. Um, Player Unknown mm. Battlegrounds is introducing a in-game friend system, voice chat for main menu, vehicle and limb penetration system. Uh, so that sounds kind of cool. Yes. That's going to be on the test servers. Oh, is that the thing you tried to tag me in? Yeah, that's that's what I that, that's what I tagged you in. I get on my uh, Facebook earlier. and like you know third thing down, it was a PUBG post and I see Scott and he he ty he typed out Jory, mm -hmm. but I wasn't tagged in it. Wow. Yeah, Facebook doesn't like to do that. So I was like, oh. <laughs> Anywho, uh, yeah, we had a. There's a limb penetration system that they're gonna be. Is that like your with. arm or like tree limbs? No, I would I would say it's limbs like your arms and your your legs. Because bolts also don't go through tree limbs. Uh, yeah, not sure. I, I think it's arm. gonna go through your arm. I think it's gonna go through your body. I don't yeah. like how whenever you shoot a door, the bolt stops at the door. Yeah, yeah, the, they need to go through the door, I would think. Because I think for certain bullets, well, that might certain work. Certain bullets, yeah. Not 9 mil and not like, maybe not 45s. 7.62. 7.62 should definitely go through the door. Just like it does the window. Hmm. But yeah, that, that's a new feature what do you that think? they're, they're going to be working door? on. Uh, most bullets go through doors. Yeah. But maybe not 9 mil. Maybe, maybe not hand It depends guns. on how close. If 9 mil is right up against your door, bang, 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 you're going to have a hole through it. 45, definitely, because it's a, it's a punching round. Yeah. Not in PUBG, it's not. Well, mm. I, in real life, it is. So we can play that when? Thursday? Uh, yeah, I think we can play that Thursday. You can play with us That'd on be Thursday? Fun. That'd be fun. I don't know. No, you're not going to be here on Thursday. Nope. You're going to be playing. Never mind. D&D. &D. Yep. He does have the D&D oh, story. Don't get, but don't get mad at us for not inviting you to play. Oh, no, I didn't get mad. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> God. Dang it. Um, we also have... Um, Yellow City Comic Con coming up. Ooh, we just we. got the event page up this week. So if you want to check that out. And tell us what days it is. April 13th it, through 15th. Yep. And tell them what nope. they won. Yep. <laughs> A brand new car. Uh, you can, you can you win. You get admission for money. Yeah, yeah. We've got the, if you want, if you want to go, there's a ticket link there if you're in the Amarillo area. Um, if you're not, you should drive down and come. Or up. Or up. However you want to get here. Come and see how different we look in real life. We've been yeah. fishing you this entire time. We have been. This, this is, is not very, a real... Very good lip syncing. This is that deep fakes. You all heard uh, about those? Oh, yes. Yeah, deep fakes. You know no. about that? No? I stay away People from the People have dark been web. taking porn, and what they do is they insert in a celebrity name, and then it, it makes their face on the porn. Yeah. And it's illegal. It's definitely I, illegal. I'd imagine. So yeah. that's a thing. That's the world we live in. I uh, 
yeah, I I heard about that on Philip Franco's show actually, and thought is that immediately. Your only source of news that no, that's that's, that's my only source of news. That's one of my sources of news yeah, because I don't it. trust any of the mainstream news channels all the time. Hmm? But I also don't quoted trust... that one or cited it all the time. What's that? Philip Franco. Oh yeah, it's, it's my only source of news. It, it's a really good source of news because it's got it's got multimedia type stuff in it. It's got like the politics in it. It's got like the celebrity shit in it. It's got all I need, and it's not Keemstar, and then also it's not Fox, and then also it's not CNN. I get my news from an old man outside of the store. Yeah, he knows all. My dad's that same. Got way. one crystal eye, <laughs> sees the future. He sees the future. <laughs> I named him Bob. His name's Bob. His name's Bob. I take it, Bob. He's, he shows me the future. <coughs> What's um, his name? Bob. Oh. Bob Bob? Bob Bob. Bobby Bob. I thought it was Bob Barker. Anyways, the Oscars were a thing. Oh, yeah. Tell us about the Oscars. People, people won. I didn't watch it either. People won things. Who does watch the Oscars? Do you watch Ooh. the Oscars in the chat? Peel won. Yeah. Oh, get out. Oh, for Get Out? Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. I bet it was our okay. okay. Yeah, I haven't seen the movie yet. I bought it. have not seen it yet, but I heard it was good. Best original screenplay. He was the first nice. African-American to win that as well. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's what yeah I heard. He looks so happy. Wow. That, that's good. That's good. He, yeah. he deserved that because that was an amazing movie. I haven't seen it, but oh, it so looked good, pretty dude. good. I bought it, and I just haven't got around to watching it. I don't know about You haven't seen time. it yet? No. Oh, shit. Man, it, it, it was really good. I liked it. I, I enjoyed it. It was kind of it was kind of awkward to watch, but at the same time, it was good. What else happened at the Oscars? Um, Man, uh, Coco won that. Uh, Who? Coco. That Disney movie. Conan O'Brien. Oh, oh, Coco. No, it's a movie. It's oh. a it's a animated movie. The yeah. Mexican. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. What did it win? It won best animated film and. Best song for their lead song in the show. Oh, okay. Um, I'm sure that Black Panther won something. It was getting all sorts of things. I'm not sure if it did or not, though. Well, it came out this year, so does it... I have no idea. It might not be in the I don't runnings. Know. I don't know how that works. Jimmy Kimmel I mean, hosted it. <coughs> I heard Jimmy Ryan Kimmel? Seacrest was, the, uh, was the, the host for the red carpet. Everyone was pissed about it. <laughs> Why? Because he's Ryan Seacrest. Just, they just hate Ryan Seacrest? I think most people do. Is he a meme now? Hmm? Is he just a meme? Just a living meme now? I don't know. But I know that he's he's got um, sexual allegations going around. Like oh. everyone else in Hollywood. Yeah, everybody in Hollywood does. Here's the thing. If you're famous, don't do that crap. Yeah. You're famous. Someone's going to figure it out. But if you're famous, you can get away with it. We're definitely yeah, the ones to talk People will look down subject. on you. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm not even famous, and I still know better than to do that crap. Yeah. If the girl is not into it, and also underage... Or the guy. Or the guy. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. But for me, that was. You're right. Not just men are you're doing right. this stuff. And and that's true. There have been people. There have See, been look, men that came a, out and have. That's to them. Who? Oh, hey, from Ryan, the office. Ryan and Kelly. Ryan and Kelly from the office. From the office. Are they? Were they? Did they win something? I don't think they did. Oh, <laughs> they they're just there. They haven't been in anything in a while. He, he went to the same high school as John Krasinski. I don't know who that oh, is. Oh, really? That's Jim in the Jim. office. They were oh. in the same high school. Oh. And you know what? He was the pro- he was a show producer. Yeah, I think they both were. Oh, were they? Uh, well, after a while, I think he was. I think from the very beginning, I think they both were. Oh, from the very beginning. That best more? water, that Which is shape why they're of not, water. Like, they're not always in the episodes. Oh. Because they're kind of like they like put them in like the back. That movie, Shape yeah, of Water. Like, no, by, no. Uh, oh, you're talking about both of them. Yeah. Little yeah. yeah. oh, okay. little del Toro. Um, oh it, yeah. It won best picture. Oh, yeah. I just pronounced it like you're underwater. What, what movie was it? What was the, movie? the Shape of Water? That one where that lady oh, sees that yeah. fishy man. Sees the fish man. I have not seen it. Had no want to see it, but it looks fish creepy. person. Fish man. Fish person. They want to make that very clear as a fish man. No. Oh, did they? I might not agree with that. Yeah. There's. Uh, they. I don't want to say that they do anything. But it's like a romance. Do they do something? It's like a romance movie between oh, her and this fishy that's man. That's weird. Didn't that yeah. guy, wasn't he the one that, he did some video game, didn't he? Was it PT that he had a part of, or no? Or am I thinking of some other guy? Guadalupe del Toro, he does all the monster movies, like uh, yeah. Pacific Rim. Yeah, but Rim, I feel like they, he helped Hans with like, Hans Labyrinth. video game as well. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm sure he's helped with video games. Yeah. But 
Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> I just um, butchered that in Google. It knows what I'm talking about, yeah, though. Yeah, it's fine. He knows. Google knew. He knows. Google knows He's all. He's got it. So what else you got for us today, Mr. Scott? Well, he did. He did do part of PT. Huh. Oh, he did? Yeah. What did he help with? I think it was him and... Oh, he was a writer. He was a writer, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. He Is he that. part of Death Stranding? I don't think so. <coughs> no, maybe so. Okay. I didn't even read that. Yeah, I think he I think he moved to do his own thing after they canceled PT, which was supposed to be Silent Hills. So, because didn't Kojima... Isn't Kojima part of that? I don't know. There's a lot of things. Anyway. Anything else you had to talk about? Oh, Rush. Um, man, I want to play that game. Uh, uh, oh, okay, Outbreak. Rainbow Six Outbreak came out this week. Uh, it was on the playtest servers. We didn't get a chance to play it because we were super busy. Um, By the time this is out, we might have already played it. Yeah, we'll, we, we'll, we'll have played it on Tuesday. We were going to try. Yeah, at least try to play it on Tuesday. So hopefully it was good. Hopefully uh, we had some fun with it. Um, I, I want to know what everybody else's reaction is to it. Because I feel like I feel like it hasn't gotten very much hype. It hasn't very gotten like very much talk about. Maybe because Siege is four years old. Yeah, but so is GTA, and GTA is like one of the best games out there. I mean, I actually, actually, GTA is like six years old. Yeah, but I think the deal is, is Siege really only has like two game modes. Uh. See what I'm uh saying? I mean, yeah, but but they they they're constantly operators. they're constantly evolving the yeah. gameplay. You mean nerfing? like Overwatch? It's just like Overwatch. Yeah, they're constantly evolving the gameplay with the new characters, making you actually over, different Overwatch strategies. has different game modes. Whereas it does. So like, Siege is just versus well, or terrorist time. Well, so this is what they're doing then. They're but it's only for a limited time. But they're adding in. This may be what they need to do is different game modes. Right, and that's what they're that's what relevant. they're that's what they're talking about. They're going to do this one, and then in the next season they're going to do another one. So from now on, they're they're going to do, start doing these wave modes. The only problem I have is that it's only three players instead of five. When you have the 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 capabilities of doing five, why are you only doing three? I wonder if it's the engine or if it's the game not able to do it. I don't know. I don't know, but it's going to be a big dub, update anyway. But yeah, I I kind of want to I kind of want to play a little bit of it and and see uh, see what we think about it. But well, twenty three years ago, yeah, Chrono Trigger came out for Japan. Yes, first the Chrono Super Trigger. Nintendo. Didn't we Super talk about Nintendo. Chrono Trigger the other day? Oh, Chrono it. Trigger actually came out on. Um, you can get it on Steam now. Hmm. You can get it on Steam, and uh, you can get it on your phone. I think actually now, but maybe not. Maybe not your phone. But for definitely on you Steam. Yeah, an emulator. You can get it on anything. Yeah. But definitely on Steam, you can you can buy it, and it's I mean, man, I wanted to get it so bad, but I, I just I didn't I should have. Mm. It looks awesome though. Uh, March the twelfth, Toe Jam and Earl came out on the Genesis. Oh. Twenty six years. I remember ago. playing that. It's been a long man. time. I wish I still had one of those. Yeah. Genesis. I think I have one in my garage. We have one at in the my old house. house. Everyone's got a Genesis. What do you? Yeah, I mean, about? everybody had a Genesis. Genesis Did you have does. all of the components that turned it into the master? No. We had the 32X adapter uh -huh. that doubled its raw power. Yeah. Um, but we didn't have the CD drive or the this or the that. Mm -hmm. But we had the six-button controllers because they had the three-button controller and the six-button controller. Ooh. We had the six-button controller. I had the three-button controller. Ha. Oh. I think, uh, didn't Nintendo have a six-button controller? One, two, three, four, five, six? I don't know. In 64. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm just going to count that as 1. Yeah, 8, sure. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You can't count the turbo and the other button because those weren't actually Those weren't the technically controller. on there. There was only a start and a select. 15 plus. 15, yeah. Depending yeah. on the variety. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how that works. But Buttons. How have controllers changed? Let's talk about that. Since since we got this playing, we got old graphics going on in the in the background. How have controllers changed? Well, it went from Pong, which was just the spinning dial. Yeah, spinning dial. Okay. Yeah. To now you had joysticks. You had joysticks. And then we threw those joysticks. joysticks. What was that? 
It was, it was just a giant joystick with like one button on top. Right, with one yeah. button on top. Okay, and then we hard. threw that away. Threw that away. People don't want to move their entire hands. They just want to move their thumbs. Buttons. Yeah. So then they got, what, the old school Super Nintendo, or just the Nintendo, whatever it was. And they're, they're clicking their... They just their, a four-directional pad and two buttons. Yeah, they're just clicking their buttons. And then they're like, oh, we can put more buttons on here. More buttons, more Directional options. pad, four buttons. Bam, bam, bam. See, now you can go up and down. All right, well... And then the Sega Genesis came out with a directional pad and three buttons. Okay. Less buttons. Kind of backtracked a little bit. But then they came out with a six-button one. And then they doubled that to six buttons, yes. Um, and then I think next was this, which is... It's a very... Dis- it's an odd contraption. It's very, very odd. Looks like but a... It worked, and it set the Ferengi, precedent for... Uh, a Ferengi vessel, if y'all are Star Trek fans. Set the know. precedent for small joysticks... Small joysticks and buttons everywhere. And then it went to the Dreamcast, which, which was, was about huge. the same as the PlayStation. It was huge. Same time. Um, there was a joystick, two, first, two joysticks, and a directional pad on the that. The first actually. PlayStation uh, Gen 1 controllers didn't have the DualShock. It was just mm-hmm. straight up yeah. uh, controller. And then the DualShock came out, and that's been around ever since. How did the Dreamcast controller even look? I just, uh, I I just remember, had one. It, it, had, two, it had the two, it looked, it had two it joysticks. Looked like a, it, was, it, was it was massive. Thick. It also had a port where you, yeah, could, I remember that. where you could put the little the memory cards in. I owned one. I'm just trying to remember. Yeah, I loved it. It's massive. I loved it. Uh, the second biggest controller in history was the Dreamcast controller. Yeah. The first one was uh, that Xbox controller. Yeah, the one that... The Duke. I don't want to talk about it. They were so terrible. It was this big. They were so big. They had a white and black button. They had... Like, the logo took up 90 It was all <laughs> wasted space. That's what it was. The logo was literally yeah. that big. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and then it's just all uphill from there. Yeah. Yeah, all uphill. Dude, I feel like the Xbox One controller is the best controller that they've Speaking of which, I got one of those today because my PlayStation controller's been giving me fritz. Well, you know, it just works on PC. It just works. You See? plug it in and you work. If you're I going off even... of ergonomics, I think the PS4 does feel better. I, w- I, I agree, but, but it I just like doesn't it. work with PC. It as just well. doesn't work a whole it lot does. with PC. Mine going to be Bluetooth because apparently mine can do that. I won't yeah. even have any wires. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be real nice. Oh, you actually bought an Xbox One controller? I did. Welcome to the Welcome whatever to century us. this is. Century yesterday. Hey, or like you said, year. I like the ergonomics. Like this thing, this thing is not comfortable. It's not. It's, it's really not. But not. you're also holding it wrong. It's no, even no. Lo- actually, no. <laughs> 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 yeah. I've exhausted the ways I can hold that with my hands. Have you figured out the Mason explains it all question from last week? Ooh. Why did Zeus choose those people? What, why, the Olympians. Who, why are they in power? I'm pretty sure Zeus was in, involved. No. No, it was a How bunch of... How do you get qu- in charge of the Olympics? That's what the question was. Yeah. Okay, okay. I had researched Zeus things, and he's caused a lot of well, you problems. Can, you can talk about Zeus things if you'd like. Uh, I'll just redo this. By things. the way, while you're doing that, the, I, I did find an article that was talking about Proton Trigger. And they're talking about modders taking on a quest to save Chrono Trigger on the PC because the port apparently was looked disastrous. It looked nasty. It just didn't work very. It was very clunky, um, ugly, filtered over images, uh, bland UI. Um, it was very much a uh, a ported game that was not, that they basically just threw in there, you know. And and for Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger, if you, if you think about it, like, you you want, with with a game that everybody loves like that, because I, I feel like there's a big cult following for that game, if it's a game that people love that much, you, you want to take some time and put some effort into it, you know what I mean? You would imagine so. Yeah, so why why just throw it out like that? And I, I didn't even hear about it until Steam it was like, a cash talked grab. about it. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, yeah. So... Uh, apparently modders are taking to the PC and like fixing the UI and like going in there and like fixing the colors and stuff with that. So apparently, if you uh, if you have it, you can you can get like a modded version with its. Uh... Turns out, it's not a panel of committees. Oh, it is a single person. No. Yes. Terrible idea. All right. President of the Olympics. President of the organizing committee of the Olympic Games. That's the head honcho. Okay. Um, happened all the way back in 1896. Was the games? Is he still alive? No, he is very dead. Okay. Constantine the first of Greece. 
hosted the first games of the Olympiad. All the way up to, they even have it decked out until uh, 2022, when uh, Gao Jinlong will be hosting it in Beijing. Oh, so it's every, it's like literally people that, it's a different person every time? Yes. Oh, wow. And I, I'm assuming it's uh, hosted per country. So the person who is in charge in of charge. that country's yeah. Olympic thing. See, uh, in Tokyo in 2020, so next uh, Summer Games, it'll be by Yoshiro Mori. I hope I'm saying that right. Yoshiro Mori. But in 2028, in America, in Los Angeles, Casey Wasserman. Casey! Uh, is that not an American name, Casey? Wasserman. Wasserman. My name's Casey I was, um, Wasserman. I had jury duty one day, and the uh, the lawyer that they had was, uh, I don't know, his last name was Quackenbush. <laughs> and he said it, and it kind of made me laugh. I had to do it under my breath, because I didn't want to get kicked out of the, the courtroom. You didn't want to get kicked out of jury duty? I mean, I still got out of it. <laughs> but I didn't want to get out for that. That's the best That's a pretty trick. crappy thing Wah. to do. You say, um, yeah, I'm her defendant. My name is uh, George. It, it was probably wasn't George, but my name, my name is George Quackenbush. And I just tried is to Is that for laugh. real? That is no joke. His name was Quackenbush. I'm going to uh, Google it. George oh Quackenbush? George. It wasn't George. It was just oh. his last. All I remember is the last name. Quackenbush <laughs> stuck with me. I mean, Quackenbush does stick with you. It sticks. It so sticks good. everywhere. <laughs> Sticks so good. Oh my god. Oh, yep, Amarillo, Quack and Bush Law Firm. <laughs> Is that him? <laughs> I don't think that's him. Look at the picture. <coughs> oh, what did he eat you to? He's hit. Right at the top. Huh. There it is. Quack, Quack and Bush, Bush Law Firm. Law firm. All right, his number is 555. Just have him say his name. Excuse me, sir. Oh, and I just read an article. I will tell you about it later. <laughs> You read an article? Yeah. Oh, no. I'll tell you about it later. Okay. So, apparently, the first Olympians, there was only 14 nations competing. What are you doing, dude? He wants to play the game. Get to, just get only 14 nations competing. Mm -hmm. Less than 250 athletes competing. Uh, nine different sports. The first Olympian must have sucked. Oh, but, I think most of them did. But it was regarded as a great success. Hmm. King George was there. King George? Yeah. Dude, King George was a shit, right? Wasn't he? I don't remember. I can't remember. If Maybe was, that was Henry the Great. I don't know. I can't remember if he was the one that they hated and killed. Uh, uh Yeah, they, a lot of people got killed back in the day. I don't think you're doing so good. No, I'm really not. I'm really not. It looks like you're eighth out of hey. eighth. That car on the road racing me, or is that just another person? And they're all <laughs> racing you because you're the only car. Dude, on the road. this is just like that GTA. was Elvis. You got some bonus time. Oh yeah, I do. You're catching up. You you're remember going rush time? A hundred and fifty miles an hour down the streets of Las Vegas in a truck. Do you do you remember Rush on on the arcade? When it was like uh, that was like the the game that you played when you went to the movies. No, I remember the one at the Shit. Pizza Hut. I don't think it was Rush though. Okay, I got a list right here of the uh, the top rated N sixty four games. Okay. How many do you want to know? Uh, I want to know the top ten. Top ten. Top ten. Let's just do the top ten. Man, these guys suck ass. Get out of here. All right, number ten. Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. Oh, man, I love Turok. I actually I have Turok, too. I have it. I don't have the first one. I have the second one. It was way better. Oh, they had this gun. shit. They Thank had this that. gun called the Cerebral Boar. Yeah. And what it did, it was a chip, this probe, and it would go into the back of their head. And about two seconds later, their head would explode. It was Damn. pretty fun. All right, number nine. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good gun. Star Wars: Shadow of the Empire. I have that one also. Hey, that's on sixty-four, isn't it? I, I know. It. I'm just kidding. I play. I play <laughs> that on my computer. I have, number eight. I have that. I Jet have Force it. Gemini. Don't never never heard of it. Never heard of it. That's what the Jet Force looks like. Gemini. Nope. Does it, that doesn't look familiar. Nope. Uh, number seven, Star Fox sixty-four. I yes. have heard of that now, one. That was and Scott just died. Damn. I thought you were uh, good. Dude, that was no, I've never number been, six. Never been good. Mario Kart sixty four. Ah, I've heard of that one too. All, yeah. Also, really good game. Set up a really good franchise. Yeah. Really good game. Mario Kart still running strong. Uh, number five. Ooh, Perfect Dark. Perfect Ready Dark. Then? Yeah, you have that one. I also have that. Still in the box. Still wrapped up in cellophane. Ooh, completely unopened. It's worth about eighteen bucks. Nice. Not gonna lie. 
Number four, GoldenEye 007. Yeah. How is uh, that not like... Number three. Number one. Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Oh, man. Oh, okay. I thought it was... Ocarina you ever play that game? Majora's no. Mask. Dude, Majora's Mask. Is that the one where the so moon good. was trying to fall yeah. into the earth? It was a really good game. Yeah. I enjoyed it. It was really different. Good. Don't you have like a certain amount of time before the moon falls? Yeah. Yeah. Three days. Uh, number two, time. Super Mario 64. Yeah. Anyone take a guess at what number one is? Ocarina of Time. Yeah, Ocarina of Time. Ocarina, Ocarina of Time was the best game. I still liked Majora's Mask a little better, just because it what? was different. No. So how'd you stop okay, the moon opinion, from falling? Wrong, I mean, in my opinion, I don't... your opinion sucks. But you do you. <laughs> See, now what throws me off is Where's I was Rush? going through the list. There's a few games that I feel like should definitely be in the top because... Okay. T- tell us what your t- pick would, would be. Uh, well, first of all, they put... Kind of drift. Drift! I don't want to I I wanna drift. I flip over that way. Got to get good, Scott. They put Super Smash Bros. at 25. 25? 25. Dude, that was a game changer, dude. That literally was a game changer. And then they put Conker's Bad Freddy at 26. Mm. Absolutely terrible. I mean, not a whole lot of people played Conker's Bad Furby. I, f- I feel like they got a bad rating. Well, it was rated <laughs> they M. They did get a bad rating. Yeah. Huh. Well. Pokemon Snap was 28. Pokemon I Snap love and Pokemon, Pokemon Stadium. Snap, dude. But Pokemon Stadium was also awesome, too. Awesome game. How is that different than Pokemon Coliseum? Uh, now it's not really. It was. I mean, actually. It was just the first one. Pokemon yeah. Stadium was the first one. Yeah. Is Coliseum, is that on the new version? Or is Probably. That, what is that on? It was on one of the new Nintendo games. Switch? I don't know. What is it on? Hmm? What is Coliseum on? GameCube. Oh. I don't think I ever played that. I played the GameCube. I don't think I ever played Coliseum. Um, Overwatch has a new character coming out. Okay. I heard about that. Bridget. Do I want to play it anymore? Oh, it's Tor- Torbjorn. Torbjorn's kid, right? Torbjorn's, yes. Torbjorn. Torbjorn's kid. So when are we going to play it again? I have no idea. I'm Apparently, down. she has a mace. Oh, shit! How did you not explode there? I don't know how to back up. Go in reverse. Oh, okay. Well, just fly. <laughs> sure. Uh, oh, man, my neck hurts. Can't do this anymore. Wow. Whoops. Hit that turbo button. Did I hit the turbo button? Probably. That's a slow button. Dude, it hurts your neck after a while. It does. Just saying. Mm. Oh, mm. We're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to install something else. A mirror. A mirror. Yeah. But then you're like, then you're looking at the mirror and you're turning the wrong way. No, no, no. We have a small TV set up in front so we can play the game. Yeah. And we have another N64 set up in the back, just playing its loop like this. So that they can see something, uh-huh. but we're having fun. But we're having, fun. <laughs> we're having fun. I like this better. I like this plan better, where we don't have to do anything. Yeah. Anything else you That's want to bring 30 up? Thirty minutes, by the way. That that little thing. That timer. That timer. Um. Nothing. I'm good. I'm excited for the Yellow City Comic Con. Was that a pineapple? Oh, are you already doing some com- cosplay? Probably so. I know that Bailey's going to be doing. Uh, well, Ahsoka. I don't know. Ahsoka. Okay, Ahsoka. Yeah. I didn't know if she'd like said anything about it, but I don't know. Super Star Wars character Ahsoka. Yeah. And she, it looks freaking legit. It does look like legit. Like the freaking, the freaking, what do, what do they call that? The hair. It's not tentacles. really hair. It's like tentacles that come down from their hair. I have no hair. idea what it is. Dreads? Tentacle dreads? And tentacles, but yeah. Dreads, head bits. Head bits. I don't know. It does look really cool. She's she's doing an amazing she's job at it. Really, is she going to have that done, you think? I don't know. She should. It's I in April. So. She better get to work. Yeah. Oh, she watches this. She's probably going to hit me when I say that. <laughs> yeah. You'll, you'll probably be bumming it out on her couch whenever she watches this. On I will. Because I sit on this side of her couch. She sits on that side of her couch. We usually have a cup of coffee. And she'll punch you. And she will punch me. Probably in my leg or my foot. Because Ooh, that's Someday I just be. wish we could all have a mansion and just live all together. I am going to have Remy sit between us so that she can't punch me. That's a good idea. Yeah. Get one of your pillows. Yeah. No, because I'm leaning on them. Watching oh. the show on my phone. And you're dead. I, Bailey, punch me now! <laughs> <laughs> um, other than the, the the shop I showed you all in Amarillo, the cake shop opening up. Oh, nothing bunt cakes? Nothing bunt cakes. God damn it. <laughs> That's the best name I've ever seen. I mean, look at that. We need to move to Amarillo. Nothing right? bunt cakes. There's story. nothing bunt cakes. There's there. nothing bunt cakes. <laughs> <sighs> it's funny. Speaking of pineapples. Yeah. You know, growing up, you always think pineapples grow on trees. No. Don't you? It makes sense, though. It makes sense. You would sense. think about it. 
Same thing as a coconut. You're like, sure. It's got to grow on a tree. It it's looks tropical. Like a tree. <coughs> Doesn't. It grows out of a, out of a plant. Yeah, like a yucca plant. Ground. Weirdest thing. Blew my mind whenever I figured it out. Hmm. Did you not know that? I I just thought they I thought they were like coconuts. Pineapples do not grow on trees. Nope. It's weird. Imagine a yucca plant. Like yeah. what we have here, but it's just a pineapple in the middle. Yep. <laughs> Does exactly it take one it big yucca plant to make a... Yes. I know it's not a yucca plant, but does it take yes. does it takes one plant to make one pineapple? Yes. yes. The fuck? But I want to say, um, if you are like a witch, you can cut off the top of that pineapple and stick it back in the ground and it'll make another pineapple plant. Bailey, punch him! <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. Anyways, yeah, pineapple plants. There's not some trees. fruits and veggies you can replant over and over again, like lettuce and onions and pineapples. They have layers. I was also talking about this the other day. Are there any foods that y'all think you would like if it wasn't for a texture? Like the way it feels in your mouth, you just don't like it. Jello. Uh, you like jello? You don't like no. jello? I don't like, like jello. She, I remember she was eating like a. Who was? Victoria. Oh. We were eating somewhere and it was a flan. You know what flan is? Oh, I love flan. It's yeah. like custard. Yeah, it's it like tastes custard. good, but it just. I think that the way we described it is like. There you go. That's a pineapple. The way we describe it is if like you had like cake on a plate, yeah, and like you put it in the sink and like it sat there for oh. a few days, like there was just water in there, and you kind of look at it, and it's all mushy. Yeah, I can I can see that though, Jory. I can see that. It's it's the texture when I put it in my mouth, I do not like it. Um, and I think that's the same thing with tomatoes, because it's crunchy yeah, on the outside. You don't like tomatoes either. I love tomatoes. It's crunchy on the outside, but the inside is just all mushy. Uh, there is there is a there is a. Uh, Okay, you, you can make them at home, and basically you put an egg a into one of those muffin pans, you know? You put an egg in there, you put some spinach in there, and you put like some sausage in there. I don't like it when you make those, they're good, but like if you freeze them, because you're supposed to make a bunch of them and then freeze them all throughout the week, and you eat them during the week, and it's supposed to be like, healthy and stuff. When you reheat them, they're soggy. Mm. Like, do you do you ever reheat something? It's do real you reheat soggy? it in the microwave? Yeah, you gotta do mm. it in the oven. I know. I don't have it at work. I bet if you would do it, y'all have a Get toaster an easy oven. oven. Easy bake. I have a toaster oven. I bet I could use. Use like a toaster one of those oven. Little toasters. Yeah. I bet that would work. Use a toaster oven. Yeah, I don't even like. I can't even eat like leftover pizza. I don't even put in the microwave. Oh no, you gotta reheat that in the oven. I love leftover I pizza. I love cold pizza. Cold, cold pizza. I can't stand cold pizza. Mm. Is it the texture? No, I think just the, <laughs> just the temperature. No, I'm fine with cold pizza. Me well, too. We used to be fine with cold pizza <laughs> before I can't have bread. That's <laughs> dough. Lame. Anyway, a beer. Bailey, punch him. <laughs> yeah, is there anything that y'all like? You think you would like, but there's the texture you can't get over it. Uh, I guess I, tomatoes with me, because like if it's on a taco, like I can eat it because it's not like the inside where it's all, like soggy. I love tomato. I it's I eat tomatoes like, like an apple. Yeah. I don't eat the, eat the big ones, like the cherry tomatoes. I'll... It's yeah. disgusting to me. It's too juicy on the inside. It's, it's a little surprise. I it's like bursting with flavor. I don't like it. <laughs> it's like Gushers. <laughs> it's like a fruity Gusher. Wait. Oh! <laughs> it's, wait, is that a vegetable? A tomato? Tomato is a vegetable? Yeah. No. No, it's a fruit? Technically, it's a fruit. Technically, it's a fruit. But culinarily, it's a culinarily, it's a vegetable. Oh, okay, yeah. That's how they judge it. You cut it and eat it like a vegetable. However, it has seeds inside, like a fruit. Like a fruit, okay. But it's not a fruit. You don't make a smoothie out of it. <laughs> oh, man, I wonder if a tomato smoothie That's ketchup. would be good. No, you can make it's a ketchup. You can make smoothies. You can make kale smoothies. Yeah. But you don't consider that a fruit smoothie. If you were to make no, a smoothie call it a out of tomatoes, smoothie. you would not call it a fruit smoothie. Actually, I would just call it nasty. Something that I wouldn't eat, but something that's very healthy, and so, I can see why people do. We got a new type of kale in the store the other day. It looks like ears, like goblin ears. Kale is not good, but I no. eat it. What when type? have you eaten kale? What, what have you I used to have the little green shakes all the time. Oh, no. Kale is just nasty. I've seen it go bad. You're supposed to tenderize. You're supposed to, like, massage it, right, with some oils? You're supposed to massage it? You need to eat it dry. Ugh. I like spinach. That's my greens. If I have anything, it's supposed spinach. to do a mixture of spinach and kale. That's like whatever makes it a super. Yeah, food. well, Subway doesn't have kale. <laughs> At the store, we have something called Super Greens, mm. and it's got kale and spinach and uh, arugula. Oh, is it like pre-cut up and stuff? Yeah, it's chocolate. Really? Yeah. Arugula is not a cheese. Try that. Huh? I thought arugula was a cheese. That's Asiago. Gorgonzola. That's what I'm thinking of. Gorgonzola. I don't know what that is. That that's a cheese. Oh. Yeah, it is a cheese. Yeah. We, well. we had a contest when, or well, me and Victoria had a contest that Jory judged, and we ate these different types of cheese and tried to guess which cheese it was. 
Did they win? They both did terrible. <laughs> I thought I did pretty good. I remember you both doing absolutely terrible. Mm. I mean, but that's your that's but your And they were exotic cheeses, like Gouda, and uh, there wasn't Gorgonzola. No, I don't think you got That's a bit too exotic. You got blue cheese, didn't you? No, you didn't. Oh, that was blue cheese easy. is disgusting. Blue cheese is disgusting. Blue, blue cheese is, is bad. Blue cheese. I can't eat blue cheese either. It's nasty. I don't like it. People like it on their buffalo wings or something like that. Yeah. Or like chicken. Oh, oh, here's the thing. We went to Buffalo Wild Wings the other day. Yeah, because they were it was terrible. completely out of ranch. Hell. That's exactly. Their thing. Exactly. They Besides were com- buffalo wings, ranch. They were completely oh, out I of ranch. I also hate buffalo sauce. I do too. Oh. Huh. That makes sense. I also don't like Tabasco. I like Tabasco. And they're, they're pretty much the same thing. It all yeah, tastes Tabasco. the same. But yeah, we went there for uh, Kelby's birthday and. They were all out of ranch. And it's just like, how does a wing place run out of ranch? Well, they have a, a supply of ranch. Yeah. They should get it trucked and it in. Runs, they, 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 they do. You don't know how many people go in there. To be fair, I'm not a sports person. I don't know how many sports people go in there. There's a lot. Was there a sports that day? There were so was many there sports. Was some, there some sort of sports going on? I was watching a oh, baseball well, Olympics, sports. I guess. He said there were sports on every TV. Every TV. Well, I think that's... Yeah. <laughs> and they just didn't have any ranch. And like halfway through when we were eating our food, the lady came by and was like, hey, we, we, we just got some ranch in. I was like, really? Y'all From just where? got some ranch in? From where? Because we, we told them, I was like, hey, you know, y'all can go up down to Walmart or United down the road. Oh, they might have hidden valley. Jokes. They might have got a hold of the other Buffalo Wild Wings. That's probably what they did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like a... I'm sure it comes in a bucket, like a pail. A barrel. A barrel. A barrel of a ranch. A barrel of ranch. You would... How much ranch... Would a buffalo? 55 gallons. See, that's what I'm thinking. It has to be a massive amount a of ranch. Ga- do you think it's a 55 gallon barrel or just like a gallons of it? Just like jugs? Maybe. Because I don't know if they could get a barrel and be like, I justify this for one day. Well, I don't know. Maybe. I don't it's know. It's a keg of ranch and they have to tap it. And they just. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a keg. Somebody's doing a headstand of. <laughs> <laughs> there are some people who do that though. I know. People are nasty. Yeah, they are. I mean, I like ranch in moderation. Yeah. Ranch on pizza? Yes. Like, um, when I go to Buffalo Wild Wings, yeah. I always get the mango habanero ones. Yes. Have you ever had those? Yes, I have. They're arguably the best ones. They are pretty tasty. You got to get another one to eat though in between because they're too hot to yeah, eat kind of spicy. consistently. So you got to get two different kinds. It's like, the habanero. Have one. You got to get mango habanero and like. Sweet barbecue. With that being said, though, I've also been watching a lot of Hot Ones episodes, and we need to do something like that. Dude, I, w- I would be down for that, because Hot Ones is an amazing show. Have you ever seen it? Never seen it. Dude, they it's get, they get guy, these like, celebrity... Yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. I feel so saying? invested. <laughs> yeah. I'm what looking did they up. do, Jory? You were, you were telling them. That's why I no. Said, yeah. And I pointed at you. I'm playing a game. Okay, what else did you want to talk about? Jimmy I'm looking Jimmy's? up how much Buffalo Wild Wings uses in ranch. That's the uh, that's the thing. That's the, the night, next you, okay. you tell us next time. time. How then much, I will wait. How much does the average Buffalo Wild Wings use Ooh, per let's, ranch let's bring it per further. week? One store, how much does it use? And then the whole chain as a as a conglomerate, how much does it use mm. per year? Used ranch and conglomerate, the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> left, ranch. Left, left a bad taste in my conglom- mind. Conglomerate. Anyway, check out Hot Ones, yeah. Anyway, sorry. Anything else? I mean, I'm Bailey gonna... hit him! <laughs>